trust. Easily broken, but... Dwayne Buckley, Life Lessons, as the journey continues. Yesterday I went to the beach at a birthday gathering for a long time friend. After getting home last night there was sand all over my car, but because it seemed as if it was going to rain I parked in the driveway instead of inside the garage, just so that the rain would wash the sand off. This morning I was awakened by the sound of my car alarm. When I turned on the television and switched to the cameras, there was a young man outside wiping off my car. He is said to be mentally ill and is usually avoided by the community due to his mental state. For some reason I didn't feel any way about him doing this without my permission. In fact, I offered him a more suitable wash rag to use, as he had taken off his shirt and was using it. He is a very intelligent young man and he speaks very well. We ended up having a good conversation too. After he had completed this, he then went into the garage and started to sweep the garage, veranda and the driveway. I asked him if he had breakfast and he said no, so I stopped him halfway and offered him something substantial to eat. His sister messaged me a short while after to query his whereabouts, she said he has been off his pills and have not eaten for a while. They tried to give him his medication in his food and as a result he didn't trust them, so he refuses to eat at home. I spoke to him and he explained to me why he does not want to eat from his family, he does not trust them, because, instead of taking the time out to listen to him and understanding why he doesn't want to take the pills, they tried to force him to do so. This includes secretly putting it in his food, because of this, he does not trust them. It was at that point I explained to him that sometimes people don't get it right, sometimes we really mean our loved ones well, but because life does not have a manual and we get it wrong sometimes. But if they love us, they will not give up trying and maybe that's why they tried other means. He understood what I meant when I said to him that his medication is to make him better, and all his family wants is to see him better, yes, they have tried and failed. Yes they might have gotten it wrong, yes they might have lost his trust, but when I explained to him that they really just want him to be okay, and that's why they did what they did, not to hurt him, I asked him to find it in his heart to forgive his family and try to understand why they would have done what they did. He said he would, because now, someone explained to him the importance of forgiveness, and nobody ever did that before. I asked his sister to send me his medication and I will have him take them as soon as he had finished eating, which he did effortlessly. His family was very happy that I was able to get him to take his pills, and I was happy that I got him to take them too. You don't know how much we are happy, we've been having a hard time for days trying to let him take them, I really hope tomorrow he will take them from us. These are some of the responses that I got as a result. Trust can be easily broken. But, how is it that this young man could trust me, a complete stranger, but refuses to trust his own family, the people who would mean him no harm? It starts inside, that's where it begins, and then with the support of others that genuinely mean us good. After all, all I did was explain to him that he should take his medication because they will make him better, and all his family wants is for him to be better. We must also have the desire to trust, if we don't have the desire to trust someone, then no matter what happens there will always be a core issue. The first step is to forgive. If we cannot forgive, then the issue could be that we suffer from unforgiveness and that's bigger than having trust issues. What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and, if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Life teaches us lessons every single day, but we miss most of it because we are busy focusing on what we already know. Trust. Easily broken, but. Life lessons, as the journey continues. Written by Dwayne Buckley.